Diamond? Holy crap! Uh, but it's a hardness of 10. Does that mean we can't mine it? No, we can mine it. Holy crap, that's like a bunch of diamond. How much did we get of that? 31? Oh, oh man. We just found the promised land, you guys. Ah! Okay, guys, we're back. Um, we're going to go ahead and make the heat sink and the cooling unit. Uh, so the heat sink requires plastic, steel, and copper. That's pretty inexpensive. Um, we might need to make some more plastic, though. So what do we need for that again? For plastic, we need hydrogen and carbon. Okay, I have a little bit of hydrogen left out here. In here. So let's grab that. Um, and you know what we could do too is let's put this on our toolbar and just fill it up and then we'll just make um, as much plastic as one drum of hydrogen can make. Okay, and then it said we needed carbon too, so let's just grab a um, thing of that. All right, so... Um, heat sink unit. Oh, copper. We need copper. Not there, here. Okay, so we'll make that. The cooling unit is quite a bit more expensive, so we need two batteries, a circuit board, and two wires. Battery, circuit board, wires. And then what else do we need for this? Tungsten and... Oh, nickel! I haven't come across nickel. All right, I guess we're not going to be able to make that uh, for now. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so let's just put this stuff back in here. I should probably carry maybe, I don't know, a, two batteries with me for the light if we ever have to recharge it at some point. I haven't really run it long enough to have to do that. Um, nope, that's not where that goes. That goes in here. Wait a second. We never, we never made our plastic. I guess, I guess we had enough. Oh yeah, I guess it only required two. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's make the plastic anyways because we're gonna need it for other things later. Um, we'll put that in the chem station and just make up as much plastic as we can. Okay, cool. Well, we have, at least we have the cooling unit. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to confirm if we can, I, I'm pretty sure we can just switch these out, but let's just make sure that we can. So if we go, uh, if we're just out and about and not like next to the anything, because um, in some games you have to be next to a, a station to or inside of a station to change things. So do we just simply drag and drop? Yep. Okay. That gives us cold resistance. Which we will definitely want to have on Azrael. So we'll keep the the storage unit in place normally. But we can switch to that if we get into a situation where we need to do so. Alright. I think we're ready. We got two full clips of ammunition. Uh, we got plenty of food. We got two waters in our inventory, plus there's two extra waters in the ship. You know, maybe we should bring a little more ammo with this. Probably not a bad idea. And I've got oxygen tanks in the uh, in the ship, too. Uh, ammo is going to be in here. Let's bring two full clips of, of both types of ammo. Um, our guns are in pretty good condition. They're a little damaged, but nothing nothing major. So I think we're okay with that. And yeah, let's um, uh, let's top off our hydration. Get our stamina buff, our agility buff, and do a save point. All right, time to go to space. Time to go to space. Yeah, I see you there. We don't have time for you, man. We do not have time for you. 
Oh, actually, hold on. Before we take off, uh, I want... No, wrong button. I want... Actually, I, I think I just want to put all that stuff in my inventory. And these we probably want on our, uh, our toolbar. Okay, now we're ready to go. So, if, if this is the first time you guys have seen the spaceship in this game, it's it's a little bit different to control. You basically have to use the left and right mouse, right mouse buttons for thrust and hover and that sort of thing. And then you press space to exit the atmosphere. But once you exit the atmosphere, you're still you're still in around orbit of the planet. And uh, so what we want to find is we want to find, um, I'm going to slow down just a little bit. We want to find asteroids so we can land on them and get the Azurnium stuff. It is really dark. So I think we have an asteroid right below us. It's the, the one thing I really don't like about the way the ship currently works is there's no, there's no free camera mode so it's really hard to see see stuff you know and right now you know we're obviously on the night side so I'm not sure how you're supposed to uh, what was I gonna say oh, I can't I don't know Let's just see if we can land on this asteroid because it's probably going to have some of the blue crystals, the Azurnium, I guess if that's how you say it, on the other side. The thing is, though, is how do we handle gravity and not like just floating off into space? That's what I don't know. Man, I cannot see a doggone thing. Oh, I guess there are some lights on the ship. All right, wait a minute, what? How come I'm backing up? Oh, if you keep holding the right mouse button, it goes into a reverse. Oh, I didn't even know that, okay. I could, I could figure out why I was backing up. Yeah, it, it takes some getting used to. Takes some getting used to, that's for sure. Okay, now. Right mouse button and stop. Okay, so we should be perfectly still here. It does seem to be moving a little bit, but I don't know how to get it to like actually land. All right, I think it's stationary. I hope it is. <laughs> if it isn't, we're in trouble. Um, okay, so let's hop out. So do we just... Um, you know, why don't we go ahead and put our... This on. Okay, yeah, so that, that helps quite a bit. All right, so I guess we just... Can we, like, roll our character? Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to tell what the hell is going on because I can't hardly see, you know? Um, let's try third person. Okay, that helps a little bit. Oh, cool, we got little thrusters in our arms. All right, so I just kind of want to look around... the asteroid a little bit to see if we can find any of the blue things. Um, I wish I could... Oh, I can roll. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. I can roll. That's kind of important for, for space maneuvering. Um, how do I... How do I mo move up? Space bar doesn't do anything. Do we just point? Oh, man. Um, 
man, this is just weird. Okay. Oh, okay, so I just point and thrust, so there's no, like, vertical maneuvering. Alright, well, there's blue crystals on that asteroid. I don't know if there is anything at all on here, so let's just get back to our ship. Uh, if I can see where the heck's that heck it is. I hear it, but it's kind of hard to move my character. In okay, there we go. Yeah, this it's 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 a little weird, man. It's it's not it's it's unconventional controls, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just takes flip. Oh, if really, you can you can flip your spaceship. I guess if it tipped upside down on a planet or something. Oh, okay, so let's um let's see if we can move towards the other asteroid that has the. Uh, Uh, the crystals on it. Where did we see that? Yeah, we really, really, really need a, a free camera view. And we need to be able to zoom in and out, too, because, it, you know, I can't zoom out any further than this. Okay, so let's head over to this asteroid. Turn, turn the starboard here and see if we can just kind of hover. Let's also roll this way a bit so we're quote unquote level. And we'll move forward just a smidge and down just a smidge. There we go. Okay, so is the ship stationary? I think so. Okay. So let's hop out. You sure can't move very quickly. Okay, I want to go... I want to go down, but it's not... It doesn't seem to let me go down. Can I grab that from here? Can you mine with this? Oh, you can. Hmm. For for this particular kind of mining, that might be the way to do it. <laughs> um, because I I can't. I'm having trouble getting. You know, to that. All right. Let's go. These thrusters are really, really slow. Okay, let's go. We we need a way to to go vertical. We need a way to maneuver vertical, like strafe vertically, right? I get it. I get it. Okay, so. Here's how this works. This was just this was bizarre, man. It took me it's taking me a while. You point the mouse in the way that you want to go and then you hold the right mouse button and your your character turns that way. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works. Okay. So, um so so there is a, a, a an actual kind of quote unquote up and down. There's W is forward. Um, S is back, A is strafe left and right, and you use the right mouse button to, to essentially steer or turn. Now I get it. Holy crap, man, that took me a while to figure out. It's just, uh, like I said, it's not... I, I'm just really used to Imperion, you know, which is... Um, oh, but you know what? Can I... 
Okay, it doesn't look like you can change your angle in first person. You have to be in third person to do it. Okay. Okay, so let's turn that way. That's not that's not a bad way to do it once you, you know, once you figure out how to do it. I just it was not clear to me how I was supposed to do it. Now, if I Okay, hold on a sec. Yeah, there's there's no there's no camera zoom that I can see though. Let's look again. G B T H N. I wonder what this applies to. Swap up, swap down, yeah, mouse wheel, light toggle, droid command is C. Look is left alt. Okay, we need to try um, left alt in the ship. But yeah, th this is this is actually not bad at all. Once you know, like I said, once you kind of figure out how to do it. Okay. I don't like it when it zooms back in on your guy, but I wonder. It's, I wonder if it's just because we're really close to the surface of the asteroid. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Okay, so let's shoot up this way. Um, the, the oxygen lasts a long, long time. I would have, you know, figured by now that we would have been out of O2 and had to take another tank, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I wonder too, if you have, if there's any, I guess there's no hover fuel either. We have an unlimited supply of hover fuel. Why did he just all of a sudden look that way? Oh, okay, stop. Not, we're looking at my butt now. <laughs> that was weird. Um, this way. Our first spacewalk, guys, in Osiris. It's a little bit weird, but we're making it happen. Okay, cool. So, uh, we have 29 Azurniums. And now, can I... Here, let's get... Uh, Let's get up off this roid. And um, can I hold left alt and look around? Oh, you can't! Left alt still doesn't let you have a free camera in your ship where, where you really need it. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Well, I think we probably have enough Azurnium to make all of the droids. I don't know if we're going to need it for anything else. So I'd kind of like to grab a few more just so we have plenty of them. Yeah, if these controls were like Imperium, they would be so much easier. Okay. So, we want to be facing the asteroid here. It would be really useful if I could zoom out just a little bit, too. Honestly, I, I I really do think that it might be easier just to use your gun to harvest these. But I want to, you know, I wanted to learn how to maneuver in space though too. So uh, okay, so let's go into third person, point this way, and move this way. Yeah, it. I mean, it's you. It's you can definitely do it once you figure it out. It's just just a little weird. That's all. Look at that view, though, man. Isn't that cool? Okay, here's another deposit here. Uh. 
Okay, let's grab this one, and then we'll we'll circle back and grab that one, and then I think we'll we should have plenty. All right, cool. So we have a total of 50, uh, 86 azurium. I think that's plenty. <laughs> I think that's plenty. Um, unless, like I said, again, we need it for something else later on. I'm not really sure. Yep, as soon as we board the ship, our O2 replenishes. Okay, that's cool. All right, you guys. Well, um, we have um, got ourselves a Journeyum, so we should be able to make all of the droids now uh, down below. Um, let's see, I'm not sure how our time's going. We're probably getting close to being out, but why don't we... Why don't we go to Lutari? So as soon as we exit the planet's orbit, you know, then we can actually start moving towards... Okay, wait a minute. It doesn't show that I have any throttle, but we are moving towards it, which is kind of weird. I pressed the space bar. Let's just land here and take a quick look around, and then maybe we'll just start the next episode um, here. So when you approach a planet, you basically, or a moon... Um, whoa, okay, that was a little different. Here, let's slow down. When you land on... When you land on Proteus, you, um... Man, I wish I could look around. You know, you get the fire when you're entering the atmosphere kind of thing, but apparently this place doesn't really have much of an atmosphere. There we go. That's what I should have done. I'm getting, still getting used to all this, you guys. There's some stuff down there, so let's just land right about here-ish. I wonder if it's possible to crash land. I'm seeing some kind of blue deposits. I wonder what that is. Ooh, there's a, a monster, too. It doesn't tell us what the temperature is on this place from inside the ship. So I guess we have to jump out. There's some... It doesn't look like there's any oxygen at all here. All right. I saw monsters, so let's get this ready. Okay, so it is cold here, but, you know, we do have our... Uh, we do have our our heat sink on so it's not like deadly cold to us one thing we do need is we need um uh whatchamacallit Zir zirconi zirconium too bad we couldn't bring our mech up here or something that would be cool but i think the only way you can do that is if you build a, a whole nother base and you'd have to go build everything that would be a pain in the ass man you'd probably have to mine stuff on proteus load it all up you know load it all up you will process it into ingots and that sort of thing load it all up and then haul it up here to build everything unless you know these places also have you know the basics ores too maybe they do okay that's just a normal thing right yeah, that's just normal stuff. Okay. Well, we don't need to mine that here. What is this? Probably normal. Probably normal. Uh, okay. What's this thing? A rich lithium deposit. Well, that's great, but I do not need any more lithium. I got tons of it. So I think these are just going to give us the same, same old, same old. We need to find something that's unique to this place. Okay, what's this? This looks a little different. No, that's just another deposit. Okay. Um, If we go kill that guy there, will he, like, drop something useful? Guess there's one way to find out, right? Oh, there's something there that looks 
different than the norm. Let's go see what this little little uh, conical looking thing is. That guy doesn't look very friendly. It's hard to move around fast on here. Diamond? Holy crap! Uh, but it's a hardness of 10. Does that mean we can't mine it? No, we can mine it. Holy crap, that's like a bunch of diamond. How much did we get of that? 31? Oh, oh man. We just found the promised land, you guys. Ah! He dead. All right, what is this thing? A dead moon mantis. Alien meat. Oh, so we just get meat off of him and nothing else, huh? Okay. Um, is that another diamond thing right there? I believe it is. Oh, man. Do you know how many times, you guys, I ran Beta and Alpha Mine looking for diamonds? And we, <laughs> we've got a full stack plus seven just from the two nodes up here. Oh, all right. The next time I do a playthrough of this game, we've got to fast track that's the spaceship, man. Holy Moses. We've got to fast track the spaceship. You know, even though it would be a pain in the ass, it would be kind of fun to actually build a base up here. Uh, the the atmosphere, you know, it's it's like a barren moon atmosphere, but it's really cool. Oh my god, I can't believe we got so many diamonds in just two nodes. Okay. Well, you know, you know the good thing about that is I was looking at the I was looking at some of the high-end ammo, and some of that stuff takes times, and I'm thinking, who in the hell can afford to make that? Well, now we can. Now we can. Serious dehydration detected. All right, let's get, let's drink some water here. We're we're a bit ch chilly, but we're not like deadly chilly. Okay. All right. Now the other thing we need to find, though is we need to find zirconium, and I don't know if it's going to be on this planet or not. It does appear that our O2 goes down more quickly when we're sprinting, which makes sense, of course. Um, I don't want to get really far away from this ship, but it does show up on our compass, so we're not going to lose it. That's a good thing. I really like this moon, though. This is cool, man. It's just a neat environment. A deadly environment, but a neat environment nonetheless. And there are, you know, there are normal, ooh, a rich iron deposit. There are normal deposits up here, so you could actually come up here and build a base. Ooh, rich gold. I'm low on gold. We're grabbing this. I sound like a freaking kid in a candy shop, don't I? This <laughs> is just so cool. Okay, is this the... No, rich iron, man. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, guys, I'm... Seriously, I'm thinking about building a base up here. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Maybe what we should do, or could do, is... Wow, it warns us that our O2 is low at 50%. Um, you know, maybe what we could do is just build like a, an outpost kind of idea on all of the moons. But the one that has like the really badass resources, like diamonds, for example. On that one, we... Oh, shit. We build a, a, a big uh, a base so we can actually build a lab and get like a mech. Cause you know here, I mean the crab the crab would work here, but the mech would be better because you know it's got an enclosed cockpit. And I you know maybe maybe we can't find the zirconium here. Maybe we have to go to another one of the moons. Plant mushroom. Use blunt object. So, okay, so is that 
a food item? Consumable health bonus. Indigenous fungus found on the surface of Lutari. It's edible, but it isn't very nutritious. Interesting. Okay. Oh, this is cool, man. I totally want to build a base up here now. I really do. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. And uh, what I'm going to do is look around for uh, just a little bit longer for some zirconium. And if we can't find it, then that probably means it's not on Lutari and we'll have to go somewhere else to look for it. Uh, and of course, if I come across any more diamonds, um, you know, I'll, I'll get those too. But I mean, <laughs> we already got a full stack of diamonds. What that means is we're going to, we're going to start, you know, we might like make the heavy assault rifle and start using that now. Um, Oxygen levels dangerous. okay. So let's do one of these. Does this fill us all the way up? Oh uh, no, it doesn't quite fill you all the way up. Okay. That's weird. I wonder why it doesn't. So it looks like it filled us up about maybe 80% or so. Cool. All right, guys. I'm going to look around, like I said, uh, just a little bit more for uh, some zirconium. All right, guys. Um, we uh, I hopped in the uh, spaceship and just kind of went over the next ridge. And look what we found. This is, I believe, zirconium. We need this to make the higher... Yep, we need this to make the higher in circuit boards. And a couple, I think probably a couple other things too, but those... Oh yeah, and plates. So we use that for the circuit boards and the plates. I thought I saw a couple uh, from... Yeah, there's another one there too. Yeah, I'm digging this place, man. I definitely want to build a base here. Let's grab these two. Kind of a cool looking red color. Um, all right. Nifty. Nifty nifty. What's that? That's lead. Okay, we got a pretty decent amount of that. Are there any more of the little cone diamond thing and thingamadoodles here? Those blue things are the, the lithium deposits. Yeah, so it looks like there's enough, nor, you know, basic resources on this planet, too, to, you know, to, to build a base. There might, I don't know if we get meteorites here, um, so we might not get plutonium, so that's something we might need to ship in from Proteus. Look at that. That is cool, man. Big old spire sticking way up in the air. That's a, that's a pretty nifty screenshot there, isn't it? Is there a way to remove the HUD? Uh, well, that took a steam scream shot. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can turn the HUD off or not. I'm not sure how you would do that. Let's go take a quick look. See over here. Another small crater. The craters, of course, would suggest that meteorites do hit the planet from time to time. Very cool. All right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. Um, in the next episode, we're going to go back down to Proteus, and we're going to look into making, um, like, the heavy assault rifle, and, and we'll take a look at some of the higher-end guns now that we know that we can get diamonds much, much more easily than, you know, running alpha mine, like, six six times before we find any. Um, and then, yeah, and then we'll decide what to do from there. Uh, we're definitely going to explore all the other available moons, too. And, you know, uh, I, I would really, now that we know that diamonds are here, as well as uh, zirconium, I'm almost positive I'm going to build a base here on the planet. Uh, so that way we can actually make ourselves a mech and then we can just go around and mine, uh, you know, without any issues. And then depending upon, you know, how we feel about the other places... Um, we might also at least make small outposts on, on there too. Hey, actually that reminds me too. Can I just for funsies, uh, can I deploy this? Uh, let's see, I wouldn't, I need to be an F3 structure. I can look at that build. Cool.
Cool. All right. So we can uh, do a save point. I actually don't want to do a save point up here, but that's cool. And this gives us, uh, replenishes our O2, as does hopping in the ship. Um, but I, I wanted to use one of the tanks just to see how much it actually refilled, which is, it appeared to fill about 80 80 percent or so all right you guys i'm gonna let you go here thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we will come back in the next episode and have some more adventures here in osiris catch you next time Bye bye